Okay, so I almost never do this, but this is gigantic news, and I wanted to just do a quick little hot take. But yeah, like just a couple of hours ago, NASA picked their uh, their partner for the human landing system for the Artemis program. They're basically picking who is going to actually land astronauts on the moon again, and it came down to three different. Uh, three different companies. One was Dynetics and their lander. One was the Blue Origin national team, which was made up of Lockheed Martin and uh, Draper and somebody else, sorry. But um, And then there was SpaceX with the Starship system. NASA chose SpaceX and only SpaceX for the Starship system, um, for, the, for the human landing program. That is, that is so huge. Like I, the, the more I sat there and thought about it, I was like, I've got to go talk about this. First of all, NASA is the only commercial crew program partner that is actually launching people into space for NASA. Um, they have now had two successful launches with crew. They're just about to launch a crew two to put, I guess that would be their ninth, no, 10th person, be six through 10, anyway, up into space. And, and now... NASA chose them to land on the moon again with this giant starship program. And the reason why this is a big deal is because um, if NASA really wants Artemis to be a program where we stay on the moon and build a moon base, it is going to have to be something that doesn't leave a first stage behind, like Apollo did. Every time Apollo landed, it was a second stage that took off and it left a stage behind. And all the landing systems outside of Starship was the same kind of deal. They would leave a first stage behind. That is not sustainable if you're going to have an ongoing base. Every like, Imagine if every time an airplane landed at an airport, they dropped their tail off and it would just pile up and pile up. Like That's just not sustainable. So you could say that maybe that's an obvious choice to, to do uh, SpaceX for that because they're the only ones that aren't going to leave anything behind. Um, but uh, let me just pull up the, the video here. Oh, that's a tangent cam. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this was this was the video that they launched. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. But um, the reason this is a huge deal is it's such a validation, not just for SpaceX, but for this Starship program, which again, you might say is even more logical that they would pick it because at least that program is in development and they're launching things and it may not be landing just right just yet. But yeah. Um, uh, you know, at least they've got something going on, whereas the other companies, no offense to any of them or anything. Um, most of that stuff is is just kind of like uh, in more preliminary stages. But this is also a bit of validation for the Raptor engine as well, because as we know, this the Raptor engine that they've been having a, a bit of, of trouble with. Um, it's a whole new full flow stage combustion engine um, that uh, has never really been used before. So it was kind of back and forth on that. Like, is it, it's, it's kind of an experimental thing still, whereas, say, Blue Origins engines are, are pretty much in good shape right now. But um, this is just gigantic to me, that, that SpaceX is actually what's going to be landing on the moon. And, um, and they're doing it through this, this Starship program that we're all watching develop right in front of us. Um, yeah, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Draper. Those are the three that Blue Origin was working with on there. But I'll just scooch forward here, and it's right here. It says, NASA has chosen SpaceX to return us to the moon. NASA has chosen SpaceX to return us to the moon. I'm just blown away. <laughs> um, it's just super cool. It's such validation for that program. And it's this like further solidification of NASA's partnership with SpaceX. And, and it just puts them so much further ahead than, than other, uh, other uh, agencies. Uh, not, not to mention, I think there's some money that comes along with this. They are now getting you know, government money to help produce the, the Starship program. I think they were already getting some for the NASA's development of the, the landing system. I don't know the numbers. I'm sure Scott Manley or somebody out there has them. So... Um, I know that as soon as I finish recording this, I'm going to go and start seeing what they have to say about it because <laughs> it will be uh, probably much more intelligent. Um, and I encourage you to do the same. But I just wanted to give a hot take. I'm just blown away. I'm blown away by this. This is amazing. Go SpaceX. 
I can't wait to see how this thing progresses. Anyway, hope you all are doing good. Big news. Tell me what you think in the comments. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.